Oviedo police are now equipped with a new tool to deal with unruly people in public, either to make an arrest or to safely get people the mental health assistance they need. West News' Dave McDaniel looks at the immobilization tool and how it will be used. Rap, rap, rap. And just like that, the officer has the person he wants to detain wrapped with a seven and a half foot cord around the legs. The idea is we're trying to avoid force, so we call it force avoidance. If we can wrap you, get you under control before any fighting occurs, you can keep you from being injured, keep us from being injured. That's the goal. The name Bola wrap is patterned after a South American weapon used to get people entangled. Using a laser sight for accuracy, cops can use it instead of going hands on with people in crisis or suspects looking to fight or flee. The beauty of this is it doesn't stop the person from catching themselves with their hands. So if I wrap you up and you were to fall, you can put your hands out and catch yourself a little bit, whereas other devices lock you up and you're not able to do that. Of course, during a mental health crisis, the person is unpredictable. What they want to do is make sure they protect that person and the officer. Wrap, wrap, wrap. This way the person's immobilized, they can be safely taken into custody. It kind of fills a gap for us between the officer getting on scene, having to use force by hand, and using a taser. They could choose to wrap the legs or pin the person's arms against their sides, all to reduce any physical threat. The device is most effective from 10 to 20 feet. Not every officer has one yet. A total of eight are assigned across the various shifts. In Avito, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Several agencies across Central Florida are working to add restraints to their equipment, hoping to reduce the need to get physical in the field.